What is spiritual practice? What things can we do as a spiritual practice? This is a great question. Spiritual is our source. It is not of the physical. It is spiritual. Practice, of course, is a process that we use to get better at something. So spiritual practice is getting better at being spiritual or having more of an awareness of our spiritual source. Awareness is, I think, the most important word when we talk about spiritual practice. But behind the quality of awareness that we bring to our practices is an intention. Intention to become more peaceful, intention to be happier, perhaps even an intention to reach spiritual enlightenment for the greater good of all people with whom we come in contact. Your intention that you bring to spiritual practice is an important aspect, perhaps the most important aspect, of the fruits that you can reap from your practice. Because we can only reap the fruits that we can hold in our hearts. And we can only hold in our hearts the outcomes, for lack of a better word, uh, fruits or practice that we really believe can be true for us, or already are, perhaps already are true, true for us, but we just have not realized that they are true for us. So, what can we do in the process of spiritual practice? Of course, we have traditional practices such as sitting meditation, walking meditation, yoga. Now yoga, of course, in the Western world, we have a very distinct definition of what that is with different asanas or postures of the body. Yoga actually means much more. It means the union, or, or just simply union uh, with everything. But, uh, you know, Yoga postures uh, can be a wonderful thing to do while we practice our spiritual practice. But really, anything that you intend to be a spiritual practice is a spiritual practice when you take it that way. And of course, because it is a practice, we get better and better at being aware of the spiritual nature of every activity, of every manifestation of ourselves and everything around us. So we can practice while we do anything, but the quality of our practice will probably depend not only on us, but what activity it is that we are partaking of in each moment. I think that the fruits of each activity of spiritual practice will be different depending on how difficult it is to Practice awareness of your spirit during that activity. So, for example, seated meditation, many find, people find it very difficult with the intention of staying in the current moment, just following the breath. 
many people find that boring or frustrating because they get too itchy, antsy, need to get up. So perhaps the fruits of a sitting meditation practice are greater because we are challenging ourselves to stay in the current moment with very little to entertain our minds and bodies and let's face it most of us are are quite addicted to external experiences of the mind and body and so we go into withdrawal when we're seated still with the eyes closed and just simply following the breath and trying to notice when we're off on a thought train and bring ourselves back to the breath or mantra whatever method you're using. On the other hand, a spiritual practice of walking in the woods and enjoying nature is quite a bit easier. We can really enjoy the stimulation of the eyes, the ears, perhaps the feet on the ground, especially if you're barefoot, my favorite. And it can be a deep spiritual practice, but it takes a lot of practice to have a walk in the woods be a deep practice because there's so many distractions to the spiritual nature in a sense because it's easy to get into the intellectual analysis of oh what kind of plant is that and all the history of it and how old it is and what it looked like in the winter versus the spring and the summer the mind is so wanting to be active and so the more things that there are in each activity to keep the mind active, the harder it is to stay in the current moment and to really explore something that's more fundamental and spiritual than these intellectual concepts and understandings that we've gained through our experience. Because our experience is mainly of the manifest, it's mainly of the physical uh, and the emotional and the thinking mind. These things aren't inherently spiritual, these things are manifestations of the spirit. They are, they live within the spiritual realm, but they are not so much it. They are it because everything's unified, but they are distractions from us becoming more aware of the source of all of that. So I think that's basically in a nutshell how I would answer that question, and it looks like I've stayed within a short enough time period for the Western sensibility of how much time someone might want to spend looking at a video answering this particular question. If you have any other questions or comments, please let me know, and I'd be happy to see about addressing them sometime when I get a chance. Have a wonderful day, and enjoy all your spiritual practices.